What's up CPA? I'm Drew and I'm back here in the new Soli Deo Center to host the second episode of the Media Studios broadcasting series, Soundcheck. Today, we'll be visited by the cast of A Christmas Carol, the classic story of a mean-spirited miser named Ebenezer Scrooge, who absolutely despises Christmas. However, on the eve of this important holiday, Scrooge is surprised to find the ghost of his old business partner, Jacob Marley, who warns Scrooge that he will soon be visited by three ghosts. We know these three characters as the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and future, who each share a vital message with the hope to not only change, but mend Scrooge's broken heart. But what are these life-changing messages? Well, that's what I'm here to find out. The only problem is, I seem to be alone. Oh, hey, hey, Tiger. Tiger, Tiger. Hey, I'm here to interview the cast about the show. No comment, humbug. Must be method acting. What's happening? Hey, Drew. Hey, Emmy. You, you look a little different. Oh, yeah, this whole transparent thing. I mean, I'm the ghost of Christmas present after all, but, you know, bye. Oh, hey, hold up, hold up. Before you leave, what's the purpose of the ghost of Christmas present? Well, the ghost of Christmas present kind of gets to show Scrooge what all he's missing out on. I mean, he's locking out everyone in his life, pretty much, and he gets to really see what he's missing out on, which is the joy of Christmas, basically. I get to show him the abundance and the happiness and the joy of community that he's just completely missing out on because he shuts himself out from the rest of the world. So I get to kind of dive into these different scenes of these parties and this happiness of everyone together, and he really sees how much he's truly missing out on. Yeah, of course, and in that process of showing Scrooge the joys of Christmas, what's your favorite line in this play? Well, at one point, my character kind of turns a little dark and reprimanding when he starts to doubt my character a little bit. You get to see her reprimanding him, turning his own words that he said in the beginning, which were very hurtful to these townspeople, and she turns them onto him, which he now sees words were very hurtful. Hey, Drew. <laughs> hey, Lisa. So, so what role are you playing this year? I am playing the ghost of Christmas past. What does the ghost of Christmas past do? She's the first ghost, other than Marley, that Scrooge gets to meet, and basically she leads him through his past and just kind of tries to help him figure out what he did wrong, in a way, and how he can fix his future, and which he will do later in the show. And so I think she really is trying to guide him through his mistakes in life and how so many people have so many mistakes, but how we can fix them and not just fix them, but mend our mistakes. It talks a lot about like how Scrooge loves money and that's basically his sole focus through most of the show. And she really is trying to tell him that there's so many things in life other than money. There's friends and family and memories you can have with those people. And I think she's trying to show him that you don't need money to be happy because in the long run, and in the end, money won't be there for you, friends and family will. I think you really need relationships to survive a, a cruel world like this, and especially in the show, it shows that. Um, and I think I've had so many amazing relationships already in the CPA theater department and just in this show alone, with our characters interacting with each other and with people and people. And I think those relationships will stick with me through a long time, and I think theater is a great place to learn about all those relationships. Hey John Michael, so who are you playing this year? So I play Jacob Marley, who's like the partner to Scrooge. He dies at the beginning of the play and then comes back to kind of save Scrooge from his sins. Well, you look very rugged and kind of beat up. Is there like a dark aspect of the character of Jacob Marley? Yeah, so he's like weighed down by all of his sin and transgressions. His character is really trying to scare Scrooge and get his attention. I really like this role because it Marley gets to show how to be like the hands and feet of God to Scrooge. Like, he, he basically tells Scrooge, you need to love your neighbor. Hey Lydia, you've got kind of a dark outfit going on. Who are you playing? I am the ghost of Christmas future. What does the ghost of Christmas future do? You look, you look pretty scary. <laughs> well good, then our costumers have done their job beautifully. The ghost of Christmas future really aims to show Scrooge the reality of his choices, what they've led him to, but that there is a hope for a future, that there's grace 
in an opportunity for him, but it is up to him to, cho or to choose it. What is the main importance of the Ghost of Christmas Future? I think it's to show the difference of equity and grace. And that equity is something that humans often reach towards, as it is fairness. But it's such a good thing that we are not dealt fairness, especially under God's countenance, that we are given the opportunity of grace and what a gift it is. Oh, Drew, you're still here. Oh, hey, hey man. Actually, while you're here, can I ask you a question? It better be a good one. So you know this is Mrs. Flott's last main stage show. What does that mean to you to be a part of it? I've known Mrs. Flott since I came here in seventh grade, and it has just been such an honor to be her student, for her to be my teacher, director, and friend. She is what helped me grow as an actor, as an artist, and in many ways has brought me closer to God in some really hard times in my life. I am so thankful to be playing this role in her last main stage production. Thank you, Drew. That was a, that was a very worthwhile question. Of course, man, and we're very excited to see the play. All right. Oh, and Drew, I'll see you at the show. Of course. You can experience CPA's A Christmas Carol right here in the Solideo stage on November 18th and 20th. Be sure to purchase your tickets for the performances and all the art season events on the MyCPA Arts Resource Board. Until next time, I'm Drew, and this has been the Media Studios Soundcheck. I'll see you at the show.